Beach and Brooks honeymoon is about to be rudely interrupted. Did someone mention terrorists in Puerto Vista? This is The Bold and the Beautiful. It's so unlike a group like this to announce their intentions. You're right, it is. Well, could it be a decoy? I mean, in the sense that they want us to concentrate our attention on Calixto when the real target is somewhere else. We've considered that. That's why we're putting the international operations on high alert, as well as the fleet. And Calixto? I'm in touch with Admiral Perkins. He's going to establish a perimeter and arrange safe transport back to the States for all non-essential personnel, families, anybody else. And the security on that? Those are my own men. Not to worry. I have clearance on all personnel. Now, this group, they have a plant. That's their M.O. Why is it that we are just hearing about this threat now? I mean, what happened to our sources in intelligence? No, nope, they haven't picked up on anything unusual. Well, I mean, could it be a hoax? This group is covering their tracks pretty well. Massimo, they're into fundraising. They don't want anything high profile. Assassination attempts, sabotage, none of that. They want cash. Lots of cash, and they want it now. So... Kidnapping. That's what we're talking about. It's a terrorist version of venture capital. You were with us, right, when they took Kathy Gordon? I sailed with her father. I want every employee in the South American operation accounted for. We've got Admiral Perkins working on that. Good. I sure wish the hell I knew where Ridge was. I never thought this would happen. <laughs> Come on, you knew. No, I... I walked away. <sighs> you scared the hell out of me, you know that? Me too. No more fear. No more loneliness. No more... No more hurt. You belong with me now. <sighs> to think. All I had to do was go in the opposite direction. I uh, will have no more of that either, okay? No. Not to worry. But if thou goest, I will go. Well, uh, thy people will become my people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Even my mother. Well, I was thinking more like your kids, but mm -hmm. yes, that includes your mother. She can't hurt us anymore. I know. Even if she wanted to. Because hate is such a small, small thing. Thanks to love. Look, I sympathize, all right? Well, of course you do. I mean, after what Deacon did to you, and now he's got my son. I got enough problems of my own right now. Listen, listen you, you could help me. You could go on the record with what you know about him. You, you could talk to the police, or, or even whoa, just whoa, the whoa, judge. Whoa, 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 I know he did it, okay? But truth is, there was never any real proof. We'll, we'll find it. We'll find it, or, or we could get him on tape admitting it, or, or something he could... This isn't funny. Okay, my little boy is out there. Stop laughing. My little boy's out there, and he thinks that I abandoned him. Now, you have to help me. <clears throat> no, I don't.
Don't you understand? I might never get to see my son again. Yeah, I get it. It's a tough break, but... But, I, but not your problem. I just don't want to get involved. Listen, this is your chance. This is your chance to get back at Deacon. You want to get back at him, don't you? Yeah, come on. I mean, you're still angry with him. It's obvious. Let it go. No. Bridget, Bridget, guess what? Guess what? Oscar knows Deacon. What? Yeah, he's got all kinds of dirt on him, too. Who doesn't? Well, no, no, no. See, the thing is, he could help us get Eric back. How are you mixed up in all this? Well, she's my sister-in-law. See, I guess Deacon, when he was in Vegas, he did all kinds of illegal stuff. What, what kind of stuff? Well, stealing from casinos. I mean, think about it. This is Deacon, you know? There, there's got to be tons of stuff. You know, and, and Oscar, he could testify. And, and then the judge, he could see what a bad influence Deacon would be. Amber, and then we could get... stop. Okay. It's over. No, no. See, that, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It isn't. It because is. Get... It is. Whatever happened years ago, no judge is going to care. And even if they do, who gets custody of little Eric? The woman who held him at the edge of a cliff? No. Rick. Rick would get Eric. See, we could do that Stop for him. Stop because... it. You don't think you've done enough for Rick? Given the fact that he's at home right now packing up the rest of little Eric's things, getting ready to say goodbye to him? Amber, Eric is his whole world. You don't have to tell me that. Yeah, apparently I do. Because even after you've cost him his son, you're still going on with these stupid, crazy impulse moves. I mean, do you ever think? I'm sorry. You love Rick. I know that. But you've also hurt him more than anyone else ever has. So please excuse me if I don't want to hear any more of your brilliant ideas. Take your x-ray. You haven't heard from Forrester. But then again, why would you? He's on his honeymoon, remember? You know, I never thought in this lifetime that I would be grateful to Brooke. But effectively, Ridge is in hiding. I mean, he's better off where he is than if he were here. Oh, I want his children to have bodyguards. Unobtrusive, okay? Because I don't want them excited or frightened in any way. And your mother, too. I'll do it from the plane. The plane? Admiral Perkins advised against that. You going to go to Calixto? Yeah. You're forgetting. You're a Maroni now. Massimo's son and heir. Just the kind of target they're looking for. I haven't forgotten I'm a Maroni. That's why I'm going. Well, that's the reason I'm going to go, too. We have a responsibility. It's our first father-son trip. Forrest will probably be very upset he's missed it. Where the hell did you come from? Everything's open. Is that the same bird? Hmm, I guess so. I think she has a crush on you. What's your name? Yeah, <laughs> Killjoy. That's your name. You two make such a cute couple. Yeah, don't encourage it. All right, you. Come on. Go. Oh, I don't know, Rich. Go. You're so heartless. Shoo. Shoo, go away. <laughs> Can you not see I was busy here? I think she's jealous. Can you blame her? Okay, come on. Go, go, go. Uh -huh. Let's just ignore it. Okay. Ignore her. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's it. You're out of here. Pete, wait. Murder. Maybe we should call the front desk. I can handle the bird, okay? You say so. Okay, come on, you. Come on. <laughs> no! Oh. 